Uh, okay, hi everybody. Uh, today we are going. Uh, hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about uh, lesson uh, from one hundred and one. I want to check the voice first. Hello. Hello? Kareem? Kareem? What? You, you hear me, Kareem? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, I will mute uh, all of you. Um, Okay, today we are going to uh, to explain or revise uh, chapter uh, five. This chapter starts from one hundred one till one hundred uh, till one hundred nine. But I want to mute. Okay. Uh, we will start from lesson 101. Lesson 101 talk about equal and unequal part. Equal and unequal part. We will start with equal part. What is the meaning of equal part? Equals mean the same. Equals mean the same. Equals mean the same. If the amount of object in each group is the same, then they are equal. Again, what is the meaning of equal? Equal means the same. If the amount of objects in each group is the same, then they are equal. We need to see an example for equal part. Here we have two examples for equal part, like this pizza and this watermelon. Here we divided the pizza into three equal parts, so this is equal. Here we are equal part. And also the watermelon here is divided into six equal parts. So the watermelon here is equal part. Also for this square, we divided this square into four equal parts. All of them are the same. All of them are the same. Okay. So equal means the same. If the amount of object in each group is the same, then they are equal. Like this two examples. Unequal means, unequal means not the same, because equal means the same, so unequal means not the same. If the amount of object in each group is not the same, not the same, not equal, not have the same size, like this two examples. Here we have this triangle, we divided this, tri two, uh, this triangle into two parts, but as you can see, these two parts are not the same. One is smaller than the other one. Also here in this rectangle, we divide this rectangle into two parts, and also these two parts are not the same, are not equal. So here, this is examples for equal part. All of them are equal, like this pizza, like the watermelon. Also here, like the square, here we have four equal parts, and here we have unequal, so we have different mean for equal and unequal as example here we have six examples i will open for you and we need to choose equal or unequal just tell me if this circle divided into equal parts or unequal parts i will choose we will see we'll start with kareem kareem what is the first one here, the first one, 
This is equal part or unequal part? Un unequal. Equal. Unequal part. Okay, thank you, Kari. We'll see another one. Hamza? Uh, Hamza, this one is equal part or unequal part? It's equal part. What? Equal part. Equal part. Very good, Hamza. Thank you. Another one. Layan. Layan? Yes. Here, this one is equal part or unequal part? Here, we divide mm -hmm. the circle into equal or unequal. 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 Okay, thank you, Layan. Safe. Yes, master. Safe. This one is equal part or unequal. This two part is equal or unequal. Equal. Equal. Okay. Stephen. 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 Stephen on here. Hello? Who is Sayyid Sharaf Deen? Who? Hello? Me. Who? What's Malik. your name? Malik. How are Malik you, Malik? Sayyid. Malik Sayyid. Okay. Malik, can you answer this one? What do you think? Here in this circle, we divide this circle into equal part or unequal part? This circle. This one. We divide it into equal part or unequal. Do you think this unequal. are unequal? What? Unequal part. Unequal part. Unequal part. Okay. Thank you, Malik. Okay, I will answer the final, the uh, the the last one. The last one here. We have the circle. I think this is both of them are the same. This one and this one. But the line, the orientation for the line is, is different. Uh, here, this circle is divided into equal part. Okay. Okay, this is the first lesson in chapter five. Lesson 101 talk about equal part and unequal part. Equal part if the parts are the same, like this one, the same size. Unequal part, like this example. All of the parts are unequal size. The size is not the same. Okay. This is lesson 101. Lesson 102. Lesson 102 talk about three different things. Talk about have. It means one over two. We, write, we, we read it like this. One over two or one out of two. And this name is have. Here we have third. Third, it means one over three, like this one. One over three, because one is up in the top and the three in the bottom, down. And fourth, one over four. So lesson 102, talk about the three part. Have, third, and fourth. Let's see some examples for have and third and fourth. So this read have again, have. One over two, third to mean one over three or one out of three, and fourth it means one over four. Now we are going to see some example for the three fractions. All of this, all of these are three fraction. Okay, raise the hand. Okay, let's see, Stephen. What the answer? Stephen, I can't hear you, Stephen. Stephen, I think you have a problem in uh, in the voice because uh, I, I can't unmute you. So please um, try to solve this problem, okay? Okay. Have and third. Wait. 
Steven? Yes. You hear me now? Yes. Yes. What do you want? No. Mm. Hmm? No, I say. Okay. All of this is called fraction. Have and third and fourth is called fractions. Okay, let's see some examples for these three fractions. Have. The five shapes means have. The circle we divide into two equal parts and the red one is represent half of the circle. The red is represent half of the circle. Here in the triangle, the yellow one represent half of the triangle. The green one represent half of the rectangle. Here in this rectangle also we divide it into halves. This violet one represent half of the rectangle. Here in this square, we divide it into two equal parts. We divide it into two equal parts, as you can see, and the pink one represent half of the square. So all of these shapes, we divide it into halves. All of these shapes, we divide it into halves. So this is an example for halves, okay? Third, here in the circle, we divide it into third. Three equal parts, we divide the circle into three equal parts, and the green one represents half of the circle. So again, we divide the circle into three equal parts. We divide the circle into three equal parts, one, two, three, and the green one represents third of the circle, okay? Here, in this rectangle. We divided this rectangle into three equal parts. One, two, three. And all of them is the same. All of them is the same. And the green one represents third of the rectangle. Okay? So this is an example for third. Okay, from the beginning, we need to revise it. Have. This example is for have. We divide the circle into two equal parts. And the red one represent half of the circle. Here, the triangle, we divide it into two equal parts, and the yellow one represents half of the triangle. Here, rectangle, we divide it into two equal parts, and the green one represents half of the rectangle. Here, the violet, we divide the rectangle into two equal parts, and this violet represents half of the rectangle. The square, the pink one, represents half of the square. We talk about third, now we need to see about fourth. Here, this circle, we divide it into four equal parts, and the white one, we talk about the white, white one represents fourth or one-fourth of the circle. One fourth because we divide the circle into four equal parts. We divide the circle into four equal parts. Okay, down here, as you can see, we divide the rectangle into four equal parts, and the blue one represents one fourth, one out of four, or like this four or one over four. Okay. Here, count the equal part, circle, the fraction, that names one of one part. All of the parts here are the same. But we need, if I want to talk about this part, what do you think about this part? Represent half, half, or third, or fourth. One over two, or one over three, or one over four. I will solve the first one for you, and I will choose to solve the, the rest of the examples, okay? Here, as I can see here, we have two equal parts. And if I talk about this, it will be one out of two, or one over two, or half, because here we have only two. Okay, what about this? We need to see. Who can solve? We only choose Steven. 
Stephen. Yes. What do you think about this here in this example? It represents half or third or fourth here. One over four. One over four. Very good, Stephen. Okay, let's see, Ahmed. Ahmed. Yes, Mr. In this example, what do you think? It's have or third or fourth here in this one? Third. Third. Or no. one over three. Okay? Yes. Okay. Lena. Lena? Lena? Are you... This one, this one, Lana, what do you think? It's have or third or one over four? Have or third or four? Have. Have. Okay, thank you, Lana. Mr. Have. Okay, I uh, I know, I know, I, I make it. Okay. Here, in this example. Circle the fraction that shows the fraction of the colored bar. We need to talk about the colored bar. Okay, here we have six examples I want to choose from you. Let's see. Safe? Safe? Yes, master. The first one represents have or third or fourth. We talk about the colored one. It's have or third or fourth. Mm. Fourth. Fourth, okay. Thank you, safe. Malik. Malik. No, Malik. Malik. Yes. Here, what do you think in this example? What do you think about the green one represent have or third or fourth? Hmm. Have. Have. Okay. Karim? What? In this one, the blue one represents half or third or fourth. It's a blue one percent yeah. third. No. No. Mm -hmm. Third. Right. The blue one represents third. Right. Can you solve this one? Here also the blue one represents half or third or fourth. 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 Okay. Ahmed? Yes, Miss. Ahmed, I want you to solve both of this. Both of this, okay? okay. This one represents half or third or fourth. Hmm. In this example. Third. Third. Here. The green one represents half or third or fourth. Have. Have. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hamza? Hamza? What? Hamza, which shape from these three shapes represent fourth? The triangle or the circle or the rectangle? Which uh, one ring the shape that shows the fraction? Fourth. Which one of these shapes represent fourth? The triangle or the circle? The triangle. the triangle. Can you solve this one? Which one represent have? Circle or the rectangle or the triangle? 
Uh, rectangle. The rectangle. Okay. The last one. Which one represents third? I make it the first one because this is fourth and also this is fourth. So the okay. the rectangle is represent third. Okay. Okay, so now we talk about lesson 101, talk about equal and unequal, lesson 2, talk about fourth, a half and the fourth and third. Now we are going to talk about from lesson 103 till lesson 106, the 103, 104, 105, 106, talk about the same thing. We will see. This lesson talk about more about fraction, more about fraction. As you can see, fraction can name more than one equal part of whole, like this one. Here we have one half, but here we have two halves because we color the two green. About this shape, here we have one third, but here we have two thirds because we color just two. And if we color the three, so we have three thirds. So again, from the beginning, if we have the shape, it means have or one have. We read the first number first, one have. If we have the circle we, and we color the two part, it means two halves, two halves. In this example, here we have one third. But if we color two parts, it means two third, two third. If we color the three part, it means three thirds. Here in this example, if we color because here we 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 divided into four equal parts, we divided into four equal parts as you can see. If we color one part, it means one fourth, one fourth. If we color two part, it means two fourth. If we color three part, if it means three fourth, you must to memorize this word. You must to memorize this word. If we color the four, the four part, it means four fourth. Again, from the beginning, it means have or one have here, two have this one, one third. This one, two third. This one, three third. Here, one fourth. This one, two fourth. Here, three fourth. Here, four fourth. In this exercise, Ring the fraction which show the part that is colored. We talk about the colored part. I will solve the first one for you. Here I have two part is colored. So we have two in the top. So we need to choose from two out of four or two fourth or two third. But to choose two fourth or two third, I must to count all of the part. Here I have one, two, three, four. So it's a mean two, because here we have two part is colored, two, four. Two, four, because I have two part is colored out of four. Two colored out of four. Okay, I don't see who can solve this one. Who is who? I open I open to you. Can you talk? iPhone. Your name is iPhone. I don't know who are you. It's me, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. How are you, Ibrahim? Ibrahim, can you solve this one about the triangle? Can you solve this one? What do you think? The colored bar represents two thirds or one third or three fourths? Three fourths. Three fourths? Why? No, no, no. Two, uh, two three. 
Two thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds. Okay. Brian, can you solve this one? Yes. Hmm. It's mean. Here we color all the circle, and the circle is divided into two equal parts. So the green one represents one half, two thirds, two halves. Two halves. Two halves. Okay, the last one, Ibrahim. This one represents one fourth. I talk about this violet one. Okay, one fourth, three fourth, one third. Three fourth. Three fourth. Okay. Remember, here we have an important information. Any number right on the top, it's a mean numerator or the place of the numbers which we write it in the top, it's a mean numerator. Any number right down, any number you write it down, it's a mean denominator. So we have this new word for you. We have one word called numerator and another word called denominator. Any number, any number right in the top, it's a mean numerator. Any number you will see here, it's a mean numerator. Any number, write it down, any number, write it down, it's a mean denominator. So we have two new words, numerator, numerator, and denominator. Any number you can see on the top, so the place of the number on the top, it's a mean numerator. This is the meaning of the place of here, on the top. Down, any number you see down, it's mean denominator. Let's see some example for this information. Here we want to join. A fraction, it's numerator one, so we have one up, and it's denominator is four, and we have four down. So I want to search here a fraction that have one in the top and four down. So if I search, I will find this one, one, four. So we will join here, second one. A fraction, it's numerator one and denominator three. So I want to search here about a fraction that has one in the top and the three down. It means one third. So I will find this one here. A fraction, it's numerator two and it's a denominator three. So I search a fraction. The number in the top is two and the number in the in down is three. So it's mean two thirds here, this one down. A fraction, it's numerator one and denominator two. So I search about one half or half. The last one must be this one, three fourth. A fraction, it's numerator three, numerator three, and it's denominator four. So we must join this two together, okay? So this is about numerator and denominator. Any number, any number, we write it up here on the top, it's mean, numerator any number it's even one two three five any number you see it up here on the top it's a mean numerator any number you see down any number you see down it's a mean denominator okay this is about lesson from 103 till 106 uh, lessons from 107 till 108 uh, this two lessons talk about fractions of a set. Fractions of a set. You can see, you can use a fraction to name equal part of group. Here we have three blue. Here I have three blue shirts. And all of them is four. We have three blue and one yellow. We have three blue and one yellow. There are three blue shirts. There are four shirts in all. Three fourths of the shirt are blue because here we have only three. Three blue, but we write, uh, please, if you try to write on uh, the screen, please stop.
Here we have in all we have four shares. In all we have four shares. Three are blue and one is yellow. If we want to talk about the blue shirt, it means three fourths because we count all of the shirt. We count all of them. We count all of the shirt. We don't count only the blue. We count all of the shirt, all of the color. Here we have three blue and one yellow. So if we want to talk about the blue only, we will say we have three fourths. If we want to talk about the yellow, so we have one fourth because we count all of the shirt. Here we have group of shirt. We have only three blue and one yellow. We have three blue and one yellow. If we want to talk about the blue shirt only, so we will say that we have three fourths of the shirt are blue. If we want to talk about the yellow one, we will say that we have one fourth. Write the fraction of the group is red. Here we have some group of, uh, of object, and in each group we have one red or two red or three, something like that. So I will solve the first one. I want to write the fraction of the red one here. How many red? I will write it up in the top. I have only one red. I will write it up. And I want to count all of the group. All of the group. Here I have four. So I will write it four down in the denominator. So in the numerator, I write it one because I have only one. I have only one red. And I count all of the group. I found all of the group is four. So we have four down in the, num in the denominator. So it's reading as one fourth. One fourth. I, I will solve this only uh, again here, this one. How many red? I will write it in the numerator. I have one. And how many objects here? We have three. So we write it down. Okay, let's choose someone to solve this example for the umbrella. Ferris, Ferris, <coughs> Ferris, can you solve this one? How many red we have? One over two. One over two, very good, Ferris. One over two. Ferris, can you solve this one? The second one here. One over four. No, we will talk about the red. We talk about the red. Three over four. Three over four. Or we can read it as three fourths. We can read it as three fourths. Okay, let's choose another one. Steve. Steven. Yes. Steven, can you solve this one? Yes. Can you tell me the fraction? Two over four. Two over four. Okay, and this one? One over, over three. One over three. Okay. Um, we finish uh, what we want to explain today. <clears throat> our, our session will finish now. Um, I make today um, a summary for chapter five. Uh, Mr. Mahmoud Abdel Fatah makes some uh, videos for this chapter into, and he divides this chapter into two video, I think, from 101 till 105, and from 106 to the end of the chapter. You, I, you, also, I will upload this uh, this session on YouTube, and we, uh, I will upload uh, some sheets. You need to solve it. If you have any problem, you will. If you have any problem, uh, please, uh, <coughs> please send to me. Okay. Let's see us next Saturday. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.